Right, in this video we're going to look at the third type of sorting algorithm. Um, this one is shell sort. And shell sort is actually an algorithm that utilizes the shuttle sort. Um, it is, well, for small amounts of numbers, um, it's not really going to be any faster than shuttle sort or bubble. But what it will do is that for large systems of numbers, large lists of numbers, uh, shell sort does some initial shuffling into position and then finishes with a shuttle sort that would be um, a lot quicker okay, and have less comparisons and swaps to make. So that overall it should be quicker. So the list of numbers that we're going to work with um, in shell sort will likely either be 8 or 10. Um, I will use 8 in this video. I will do an example with 10 and I will also do uh, a video where we see what happens when we deal with something like 7 numbers or 9 numbers. Okay. And it may not initially, in the way that I'm explaining it, be obvious as to why that would make much of a difference. But as you see the process, it might become more apparent. So the list of numbers that we're going to work with are going to be 3, 7, 2, 1. I've got a little bit of space over here, so I'll have a 4, uh, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 more. So I haven't used 5 or 6 yet. Okay, so here are my 8 numbers. And I'm going to try and put these into ascending order using a shell sort. So the first thing that we do is we look at how many numbers we have. Okay, we've got 8. And we are trying to figure out how many groups to set them up in. Uh, how many sublists to sort. So first of all, we take the integer part of 8 divided by 2. The, numbers, the amount of numbers divided by 2. Now, 8 divided by 2 is 4, so the integer part of 4 is 4. So there's not anything uh, complicated there. If you haven't seen this kind of like notation, don't worry. Okay, uh, You don't have to use it, but I'm just using it just to make it clear that I'm looking at the integer part. So I'm going to split it up into four sublists. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to be very careful to make sure that I'm lining the numbers up in columns. So we have four, three, seven, two, and one. Uh, oh, sorry, four, three, seven, two. No, I'm not doing this wrong from the very start, okay? And then one, nine, five, six. Okay, so I now have one, two, three, four sublists. Okay? Now what these are going to do is that I'm going to use these as four comparisons that I'm making. I'm going to make these by first comparisons. So I'm going to compare four and one, well that will become one and then four. Notice how they are still lining up. Then I compare three and nine, so there's no swap there. 7 and 5, that would cause a swap. 2 and 6, no swaps. Okay, so my list of numbers now looks like this. Now, what I do at this point is I then say, well, okay, I'm going to take the integer part of the number of sublists that I had, 4, and then divide that by 2, and I get 2. Okay, so I'm now going to put it into two sublists. So I started with a list. I divided that into uh, two to make four sublists, then I divide that number into two to make two sublists. So the sublist now for two would be one, three, five, two, four, nine, seven, six. So that this becomes a sublist and this becomes a sublist. Now effectively, what we did at this stage, when we compared 4 and 1, or 3 and 9, or 7 and 5, or 2 and 6, 
was we actually did a shell sort, uh, a shuttle sort, sorry. We actually did a shuttle sort on those two numbers. Okay, there's no point in actually writing that down as a shuttle sort. But at this stage, we were doing shuttle sorts, and at this stage, we also do shuttle sorts. So we, so we do a shuttle sort on 1547, and we do a shuttle sort on 3296. Okay? So um, there was a little bit of contention about um, what we actually write down at this stage for working. Um, now, uh, in any kind of AQA mark scheme that we're working with, um, they have, they do not have the separate shuttle sorts included, and all you really need to write down at this stage for this exam board um, is these list of numbers ordered. So the one, five, four, and seven have gone through a shuttle sort, and we have arrived at one, four, five, seven, and three, two, nine, six go through a shuttle sort, and we arrive at two, three, six, nine. And so that these two lists of numbers, they filter down into one, two, four, three, five, six, seven, nine. Okay, so these two lists of numbers, sublists, filter down and make this one. Now you'll notice that at this stage, it isn't completely in order yet. Okay, um, because at this stage, you would then do another shuttle sort for this list of eight numbers. Okay, and that also uh, would not need to be included in the working at this stage. Okay, so there is a shuttle sort right at the end, which will put it into order. Okay, so the exam board is looking for this working. Um, the actual individual shuttle sorts, if you want to include them, you can, but it will take time to include them. Okay.